Hello, Facebook, YouTube. Well, interesting, I want to talk about, you know, uh, I like to pick apart these scriptures. Love picking apart. And I want to really pick apart, apart the, uh, the two Fs, you know what I'm saying? It says, forbearing one another and forgiving one another. Now, you notice God, now, Paul, I know that Paul operates according to the kingdom of God. Because he will put things in proper order that you will see a sequence of understanding why he will put things there. Now, um, why? Because this uh, video is going to show you that I know he was operating according to the kingdom of God. And the topic of this message is the reality of forbearing... I mean, you have to, reality of bearing forth fruit to forbear one another. That Now, that's why I'm going to topic it. But the ideal is to forgive people. But first, you got to bear forth fruit to forbear. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you see how that bear thing working now? You know what I'm saying? Next thing you know, you might see Smokey the Bear come out. Only you can prevent forest fires. I just had to bring Smokey the Bear up in here because we talking about bears. That's another message. I'm just joking around, y'all. Goodness. Well, anyway, um, uh, yeah, we must first see, see, because, you know, the idea of the scripture is talking about this is what our this is what we're aiming for this is what we're as christians when we uh develop jesus christ inside of us mature the babe in christ that it will mature and become a man and put away childish things you know you know kind of like you know in uh first corinthians 3 that it will pull put away division put away vain strife put away you know, it's another one. I forgot envy or something like that. Put away these things, and it just will truly be about shining the light of Jesus Christ. It will be about Matthews 5, 16. You know, just let your light shine, you know, concerning your uh, pleasing your Father in heaven. You know what I'm saying? Because, look, when we're about, when, if we're going to be about Jesus Christ, the only agenda is as what Jesus Christ says at the on Garden of Gethsemane, not my will, but thine will. This is about the Father. You know what I'm saying? This is a, when we are about the light, we are about the Father. And when we're about the Father, we are about aiming to be of his elect that Paul is describing, you know, in Colossians. We're aiming to be the elect. We're aiming for this. And, and, and we're not only aiming for this, but hopefully we are encouraging others, Christians, to aim to be God's elect for the sake of, I, like I talked about in the other video, that when we establish, like the agenda is to establish the love of God in our hearts. When the love of God's in our heart, that means we desire everything that the Father desires we thought we desired as what jesus loved the things that his father desires we allow god jesus christ inside us have a love inside us that we will want to do what the father desires we will have a desire to like aim for perfection we will have a desire for that you know what i'm saying and the thing is that is really the ideal you know of really truly developing the development of a Christian. That's the true development of the a Christian. And the thing is, what we need to just understand that it's going to take, it's going to take the fruit of the Spirit to bear forth fruit, to bear forth one another. You know, because look, you know, it's like what uh, um, Zechariah says, not by power, known by mind but by the spirit of the lord we can bear forth each other now bear forth means to you know 
it's kind of like an idea of tolerate. It's kind of like that. It's kind of like tolerate, you know, the uh, ideal of other, you know, behavior. You know what I'm saying? Uh, tolerate, or we call it put up with other people behavior you know that in the flesh people i think i think a whole lot of y'all or the majority can come in agreement is no way in this world system we can bear have the strength to bear forth one another oh, the, i'm gonna make it we have the strength to bear forth one another and you know in our flesh no way our flesh cannot put up with the negative behavior and the constant, you know, and they're going to consistently do negative behavior, you know, of people's actions concerning them, of course, being deceived by the Satan, the God of this world is blind them eyes of men and getting people to think that they can continually sin and, you know, and not get and, and, and think there's no consequences in sin, you know, they can mistreat one another, say bad things to one another, do wrong to one another. The God of this world is at his job when you see people uh, doing negative things, you know, and he has, I call it, did a work on a lot of people to pretty much people make, people are what the Bible calls workers of iniquity. They're getting people to work their iniquity to cause them to sin and continually uh, create a sin cycle to operate in darkness. And as you see, a bunch of nonsense. But we have the strength to bear their, you know, behavior. And we will have not only the strength to bear their behavior, their negative behavior, we will have, and in that fruit of the Spirit, will nourish us that we will develop words of wisdom, words of encouragement, words of uplifting, uh, uplifting things to, well, mainly to encourage them that, you know, they can, you know, do all things through Christ that strengthen them. They, they, they need, they can, you know, try Jesus, you know, try, you know, but the thing is, when you eat from the fruit of the spirit, they're not going to want, they're not going to want to try Jesus concern the word they're gonna try Jesus based upon your performance when you perform the true love of God towards them and the love they see the love of God inside you they're gonna want what you have inside you not just the lip service but the do service when you continually show a consistent you know a pattern that only the fruit of the spirit can give you the ability to accomplish the fruit of the spirit that's what i'm saying you got to bear forth fruit of fruit from the spirit in order to bear uh forbear one another and watch what proceeds if we know how to bear forth fruit that will bear forbearing one another proceed the ideal of forgiveness See, forgiving one another, that pattern right there, as well, Paul put that in order that you must forbear one another in order to be on a pattern of forgiving one another is what we need to understand as if we want to truly be a part of the elect of God and, and have a desire to do that, we must um, understand that pattern that the, it starts with understanding the fruit of the spirit that we need the fruit of the spirit and we need to grow it and eat it and nourish us each and every day that we grow spiritually mature to know how to have the words of it well do the acts of love you know uh do the acts of love and 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 and, and no yeah yeah do the acts of love i mean i'm strengthen the spirit man that will give us the ability to do the acts of love that we can forbear one another because not by like i said not by power no by mark but by the uh spirit we can only have the strength to love y'all know the craziness the craziness that this world system and people you know have these days the bitterness and 
the uh, you know that, that people operate the bad attitudes the negative speaking the you know y'all know what it is only the spirit through the spirit that we can have the strength to forbear their activity to show forth the love of God in that and the joy of the Lord and the peace of God you know what I'm saying we will show forth these acts towards them that they will under they, they will see that this is real they, this God is this God is real Jesus Christ is real his love is real his joy is real because it is forbearing my acts and they will come to a place of conviction through the actions of Christians, not through how we talk and minister and teach the word of God to people, but through our actions, they will see that we perform before their eyes. They will know that Jesus Christ is real and they will want and desire him because they know they need this in their life to forbear all the crazy people and crazy situations and circumstances that I will create because men are in their a uh, terrible position in sin, you know. Men are operating in darkness and unfortunately going to continue operating in darkness because this world system is going to influence it, you know, constantly. But we need to get the full of the Spirit to, you know, give us the ability to forbear one another, that we can be about forgiving one another, as it says, that we that as Christ forgave us as Christ forgave us we must also forgive them but only the power of Christ can give us the ability through the fruit of the spirit to forgive them because they know not what they do concerning them operating in darkness and mistreating people and doing negative things to people and doing negative things to themselves all right that's the message I hope you understand about for bearing forth fruit to forbear one another that should lead to forgiving one another. And that's the message. God be the glory, him forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen.